Welcome guys to this Age of Empires 4 English Fast Castle build order and today we are doing a Fast Castle build order for Age of Empires 4 for the English. It's going to be a good one. Um, we're going to start off with the scout from the town centre so that's going to be a second scout just so that we can get as many sheep as possible to get us up to the next stage uh, and the castle age that is and also we want to deny the sheep for our opponents so it's very useful if you're against the Rus or the French or something like that. Um, but yeah there we are. So. New villages will go to the food underneath the town centre as well, so that we get eight on food. That's the kind of marker we're looking for here. We send both scouts out forward to get as many sheep as possible. Uh, we'll take a villager off of food to build a house and also a mill at the back, but we want to keep it, you know, well protected behind the town centre there. And we'll also look to get an early wheelbarrow playing as the English, which is very effective. Uh, yeah, keep scouting, get as many sheep as possible. Um, I feel like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to use this quite a lot, I think, on closed maps, maybe like Hillendale, uh, Altai, maybe. I am showcasing this on Arabia. I think you can actually use it on Arabia, especially if you're against, like, slow-to-move sits, like Delhi, the Abbasid Dynasty, if they're going two town centers, HRE even. Um, so, yeah, it just depends what your opponent's doing. Obviously, it's very important to scout out what's going on um, and keep an eye on what your opponent's doing. Okay, we're just going to force drop off. Uh, there we are. And get wheelbarrow. There we are, perfect. So, one minute, 30 seconds, we've got wheelbarrow coming in. Let's get the sheep back to the town centre. We don't want to run out of sheep underneath the town centre, that's for sure. And, um, yeah, I'm going to try this out on the Rank Ladder. I'm going to drop a link to my playlist of my Rank Ladder games as well um, that I've got on my channel. I actually showcase all of them, like every single Rank Ladder game I'm playing. I'm, I'm uploading them, getting some advice from you guys as well. And it's quite fun to share it with you guys and see what's going on. Uh, and how we're developing. All right. Uh, also worth noting, I'm going to release the PDF version of the build. If you have the access to the PDFs already, uh, it's just going to be on the updated version. If you don't, if you're interested in it, do check out the video description. It'll have some information there. And uh, yeah, we're almost up to eight villagers on food. So um, we're going to just keep an eye on that. Okay, we've got a lot of sheep now, so. I think we're going to just settle for these sheep, uh, no more, um, just because, you know, we're against the AI, so they're a bit lax with the scouting and sheep grabbing. So now they've got eight villagers on food, we're going to send the next two villagers to gold, and uh, we're actually going to start seeding some farms here. We're going to aim for three farms, and then we will be building a house. So three farms, and then building a house. Okay. Just uh, get everything cracking and going. Wheelbarrow just came in. Very, very nice. Okay, now we've got four on gold. We added two. We're going to send the next two villagers to food. Okay, we should escape that, thankfully. Now let's drop another farm. And then we'll be building a house with the next uh, wood that we can. Okay, build a house with a wood villager. And so we're going to aim to get 10 on food. And then we're going to send the next two villagers to wood. Okay, next two to wood. And we're going to shift queue four villagers here on food because we want to build the next landmark to get to the next stage. We're going to go for the council hall just because we're playing on Arabia. On more closed maps, if you're walling up, I think kings could be quite nice. Uh, we're going to go for the council hall just in case we need to produce some longbows just to survive until getting to the castle edge. But hopefully you can use your scout. You've got two scouts, so you should be able to find out what's going on. Um, let's get to the next stage now, shall we? Almost there. Let's force drop off. Yeah, let's go. Council hall. These villagers go back to food. Okay, so now they've got four villagers on wood. We're going to send the next villagers to food. Basically, everyone to food uh, until you get to uh, being able to click up to the next stage to get to the castle age. And you just keep dropping farms. We're going to aim for eight farms in total, and then we're going to stop with the farms. Because uh, then our next food resource that we're going to take is going to be berries. We want to save the wood. We want to get double stables, and we want to get a blacksmith as well for upgrades. We're going to get a lot of knights. Let's put it that way. Okay, looking very nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh? 
I'm surprised that this village is going to the town center. That's actually very annoying. I think we may need to build the mill a little bit further away. It looks like the miller would be so much closer, but I don't know. It's just Age of Empires 4 things, I suppose. Okay. Up another farm now. Okay, so we're done for the farms now. We just want to keep going on the sheep. As you can see, we've only got just one villager there, so you should be able to make the sheep last quite well. And the villagers that are building their council hall, they will go to sheep. Right, so you have that nice influx of food. Okay, let's keep our scout forward. Let's see what's happening. Are we being pushed at all? Let's see what our opponent's up to. Not a lot happening. Not on stone. Let's see. Oh, they are on stone. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. We're up to the next stage, so... Um, yeah, we just keep going on food. Villages to food. That's all we need to do. We'll need to drop a house. Okay, barracks, stable. Let's keep an eye on that. Stable coming out, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. You can even harass with your scouts if you're feeling up to it. We're up against the English, I think, so they've got extra range on their town centre, so it's a bit tricky to do that against the English. So now, what, what's really important is if you're running out of sheep here, then you can go to berries. That's just the thing to adapt and think about. Hopefully you won't be running out just yet. Now we'll be control grouping eight of our villagers here, because eight villagers will be being used to build their next landmark, which we're going to go for the uh, King's Palace. And it's really important that you go on a wood line for this King's Palace. So I think we're going to go here, nice and safe, here at the back. Uh, it's really important that you go for the wood. Okay, seven minutes on the clock, almost there. We've got enough gold, almost. Just a bit more food, and we should be uh, rocking and rolling. Okay, we're going to force drop off the food in a little while. I think this walking distance is really hurting us there with the farmers, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go in position. Okay, a little bit more food needed. Not a lot. Just force drop off. White. Oh, no, not the White Tower. Not the King's Palace. All right. All right, disaster averted. Now, the new villagers from the town centre will go to gold. We want to aim for 12 on gold in total. That is the magic number for us today. And what we can do now is, you see we've got some wood left over. We could delay going up to the castle age if we're under pressure and get longbows. We're actually going to drop two stables uh, and a blacksmith as well. What we'll do is we'll take two villagers from food to go to wood uh, once we've you know, started building up uh, our king's palace. And that should give us enough wood to go forward. And think about if we need to drop farms when we get to the castle age, uh, you know, we can do that. We'll have the wood to do that and we should have enough food and gold and everything for what we need to achieve. The next thing we're going to drop is the uh, blacksmith and looks like we're being pressured a little bit here with man arms. OK, so if this happens, uh, what we'll need to do is, well, we should have scouted it really. And uh, so what we'll need to do is just get these villagers out, but we will want to get some archers from the council hall. Okay, so now we'll be able to even forward some knights, which is perfect. I think we're not going to bother with the archers anymore, uh, longbows. We got pushed off gold a little bit there. Not too badly, um, but we could have always, you know, gone for um, longbows if we needed to, to defend. So these villagers that built that landmark will go to berries, and obviously we want to get up to 12 on gold. Okay, double production of... Knights on the stable at nine and a half minutes. We're a little bit lacking on the gold because obviously what happened there was a bit rough, wasn't it? Uh, but we'll be fine here. Okay, we're looking good. We we are you know we're nice and safe now with uh, the knights there. Double production of villages, and we're a little bit short on food, but that's not necessarily the end of the world. We're going to go for the blacksmith. So I hope you guys enjoyed that build order tutorial and if you did do give the video a thumbs up hopefully I shall see you guys on my next rank ladder game or perhaps on the next build order. Take care and see you next time.